guys, welcome to Myrtle Beach Safari and Chimp Dinner Live. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got four hungry chimpanzees and we got beautiful food for these kids tonight. Yeah, what do we got right here? Holy cow. Summer salad, beautiful salad, pecans and strawberries. Magnificent stuff. One for volley champ, yeah. Good boy, it's got romaine, it's got spinach, it's got so much beautiful stuff in it. And they're ready to have some of that. The little man here needs his. It's right here. His secretly has some PBJ in it. There you go, he's got a beautiful one going right there. Oh, Sagriba's gonna try some of his own fork skills right now. Oh yeah, he, sh he shoved it in. Oh, we weren't as positive if he would like the spinach as much as he likes romaine, but uh, he looks like he might manage it a little bit. Picking out the strawberries, of course, that are covered in a fabulous balsamic kind of vinaigrette. Really tasty, got some other berry flavor to it. Good stuff. Baby Tara's uh, looking like she's gonna join in. We got Ungodava Chimp, the world's cutest boy. Look at that fabulous kid right there. Just a beautiful little chimpanzee man, three years old, about 35 pounds. We got the big Buddha boy right here. We got our fabulous, mellow, beautiful kid, Sugriva the chimp. 165 pounds of spring steel and sex appeal right here. And next to him is the beautiful baby Tara. Well, it's really Cody and then baby Tara. Baby Tara is the two-year-old little baby girl. Her birthday's coming right up. And of course, it's Mokshu Bobby here with her fabulous little friend. And God, Mokshu Bobby's got her own YouTube channel that's got some really cool stuff on it. Also, tons of Instagram about these guys. You can see the apes, especially on Instagram, on the Chimp Brothers channel, but so many other places. There are some famous apes right here. Then we got lovely China York with my boy, Bali the Chimp. Incredible dude right there. It's just me. That was just me on my elbow. He heard my elbow knock, and he's like, who's at the door? We're being interrupted. I'm not sure if that's allowed. Yeah, so Grieva's got his own rules. He is knocking out spinach. <laughs> he likes romaine better than spinach. The spinach is pretty good. And he's knocking out a few pieces of everything right there. He's a picky boy. He likes a fine, tender leaf. He does some cool stuff of climbing up in the trees, cruising through the preserve, into the big hyena habitat right now. There's these beautiful big vines, the very top of the vine, it's gonna be 20 feet up, is very sweet. So he's got a whole technique of going up into the vines, pulling down the tops, popping those tops in his mouth, and loving uh, to chow down on these specific vines. Even, even has shared the vines with his buddy, Bonsai the Hyena, because Sugriva and Bonsai the Hyena, who've been with each other since Bonsai was a baby, are still really good friends, even though Bonsai's just about this same size, buck and a half plus, and a tall, hefty girl. And the two of them are still the best of friends, just cruising right along. I don't know why none of them like those pecans. It's a fabulous pecan. Look at that. So great, look at this. This is the good part. Mm. Yeah. No, my man, strawberry is a good part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Pecan was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta check, make sure I'm really eating it, not cheating him. That was pecan. Pecan breath. He says, if I pick it up, maybe it's worth eating. Oh, he says, who would put those brown things in there? And you know, chimpanzees search out nut trees in the wild and guard nut trees and make it their kingdom. It's the center point of protein to have access to nuts. So they often are found uh, in certain parts of Africa where they have kind of taken over nut tree territory and hold on to that because that is a constant use of super high quality food to have your own nut trees right there. All right, we have any questions from our audience this evening? What do you know, Alicia? What is the weirdest thing that they eat? The weirdest thing we think Angada loves then is sauerkraut. He thinks it's just delicious. What about you, Sugriva? What's the weirdest thing you like? The vines that he pulls off the top of the hyena habitat and other places around the preserve. Those strange little vines that have spines on them and stuff, but he pulls off the fresh tops and they're delicious. We'll try to find out the name of those vines. Baby Tara, what's up on Baby Tara's weirdest thing she eats? Tara eats mochis. Mochis are those cool um, Japanese style ice creams that are kind of a, a bean rice pasty outside with an ice cream interior. I know the ones China grabs a lot are passion fruit with vanilla inside. They're small, they're just a couple bites, kind of like an Asian bonbon. Those are delicious. 
And what about Bali the Chimp? What do you think, Bali? What is your strangest thing you eat? He loved the tamarinds, right? Those are strange tasting. They both like tamarind. We talked about getting tamarind for a meal again here. Um, when we put it in our uh, cart and order it up from old Amazon, tamarinds are good stuff. Very strange looking. Looks like they're eating kind of brown dirt pods, but they do like that stuff. Hey guys, you can experience this incredible thing of having dinner with these chimps by joining us on the Night Safari. On the Night Safari, Bali and Saviva come out along with the incredible Ungata and Baby Tara. And they have dinner side by side with you under the stars, fireside. These boys love to make s'mores. They roast up some hot dogs. They eat some other food that we bring out to them. They love a pulled pork sandwich. Now, of course, these are vegetarian chimps. They're not really eating pulled pork. They're eating a monk fruit sandwich. It's got sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce on it. So it becomes pulled pork, pretend. But they will knock it back 10 sandwiches in a row. Come join us with those guys, as well as 30 big tigers, the incredible bubbles, the elephant, the wolf pack, the beautiful big eagle owl, the world's largest owl. Other incredible animals all interact with you all under the stars at night. Beautiful photographs that take place, an entirely different experience than our daytime experience. So we're gonna move on to PBJ. We know that this is a favorite food of these kids. They love PBJ, especially this Dave's Killer Bread right here. Got that fabulous organic peanut butter, beautiful strawberry organic jam. And look at him do the jam right there. Bali's got a piece, he's already woofing it up. Peanut butter and jelly is always a favorite for those guys. They think it's delicious stuff. You know, they could probably eat 10 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for dinner at night if they had the chance. They think that's the good stuff. Alicia, what else you got for a question? Chimpanzee populations in the wild are on a terrible decline right now. You know, the worst thing that's happening to them is people are eating them. Now, these are not poor people who need a meal. These aren't people who are out in the wild that are like, man, I got to eat something. I guess I'll have to eat a chimp. These are rich, affluent people eating ape, eating chimpanzees, eating gorillas. They even caught gorilla meat that had been cooked up being brought into London. They caught it at the Heathrow airport that was going to be served at a wedding. Eating apes is a disaster for them. You know, we have a program that helps that stop. That program includes our work with the Rare Species Fund. And there at Rare Species Fund, we're able to have rangers in our employ who are on the ground every day out watching over families of apes, watching over them so that they're not poached. We've got guys who live out in the forest, sleep on the ground, hang out and watch over the apes day after day. We've been putting rangers on the ground in the wilds of Africa where the apes live so that they can sleep side by side with ape families. They don't interact with them. They don't feed them or do anything. They're just there to watch them. They're machine gun carrying rangers, hard guys, and they've been out there watching the apes. We've tried to make their lives much better by bringing them tons of camping equipment, all kinds of tents and backpacks and sleeping bags, beautiful stuff hats with lights in them, all kinds of things. We bring it to them, hand deliver it to them so that those guys are well outfitted and that they can have a good life out there. We've also brought them cell phones and we've got guys that have to travel 12 hours walking up into the forest. So we've been buying motorcycles. We bought several motorcycles so the guys can ride out in and get 12 more hours done in a day's work so that they aren't walking through the jungles to make things finish up. Oranges are certainly always a favorite. Scream is ready for another one. Volley Chimp. Volley boy, coming in, yeah. What about baby Tara? Baby Tara's gonna play with an orange? Oh, we'll let her at least look at one. Zagriva so certainly thinks he's thirsty and hungry and gonna knock back some orange. Remember, he's already had his beautiful red sauce rice and bean extravaganza, that giant salad already, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He's going on to his second orange and more is coming. Well guys, we've got one of the favorite things about to happen for Chimp Dinner Live and that's the dessert. Rajani the chef made some beautiful stuff. We've got these incredible treats coming in. Watch that ape. Look at that. Oh my my, that is beautiful. That is like a strawberry shortcake all freshly made. We've got one for Volley Chimp. Woo, dog, you're gonna knock it down. Volley, 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 right there. Oh, beautiful stuff. What about you? What about you, the cutest boy in the world? Look at the size of that thing. It's as big as his head. He's gonna get to have one himself. Look at this 
Have a treat, you beautiful boy. Got us getting some good stuff right there. I got his fingers down so you can see. He loves the cream the most. Look at that happy little ape right there. He ate one strawberry. He's gonna eat another strawberry. He's like, no, if you please get the strawberries off of the cream. That's what it looks like he's working towards. He says, that's good stuff. All right, we've got the finishing treat. That's one of Sugriva's favorites right here. Sugriva, look at that. He says, man, I'm fighting my sister right here. Bali, get yourself a head of lettuce, you wild man. Good stuff. The little man right there is still working on that. I can take that of a head of lettuce if, if these guys get crazy about it. The romaine just gives them something they can tear up. They love just the greens of it. It's just the nature of the chimps to just tear into the greens and open them up. We're glad you guys joined us here so you can see these great apes. You know, you guys participating in programs that we have like the Myrtle Beach Safari where you get to meet these apes and the incredible variety of big cats and other wildlife. That helps us to run conservation programs around the world. By you visiting us here, you make all of that happen. Come here, help us by having the greatest wildlife experience on earth. Nowhere else on earth does it happen when you see those cheetahs up close, those huge tigers running, the amazing tigers swimming, our great big glass crystal pool. Beautiful Bubbles is gonna give you a hug, you're gonna get to feed her, you're gonna get to watch our eagles fly. You'll see these incredible apes play volleyball. They'll get out there and have a grand time painting you a custom piece of art. Beautiful stuff happens, incredible opportunity like nowhere else. Baby tigers, we may be the last people in North America that let you interact with baby tigers. We know we're the last people in North America that have great apes like this that are around and interactive as well as so many of the other things that we're doing now are just the last place on earth to have that happen. This chimp family is very small. It may be the last interactive chimp family in the world. Come experience it. Have this incredible moment. It is a life-changing opportunity. You need to come by and see Myrtle Beach Safari, MyrtleBeachSafari.com. Hey guys, be sure to stay tuned now and watch how we made this incredible chimp dinner. Take a look at Rajani and Holly's beautiful work of making that incredible dessert that these guys just chowed down on, the beautiful salad, a summer salad that is fabulous. We're all gonna have some more of that stuff right now. We're gonna sign off with you guys, but come back and see us next Sunday for the next round of Chimp Dinner Live. Hey, let's say goodnight to everybody. Say bye-bye, Sagriba, wave that lettuce head. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, guys, peace and love. It's Rajni and Holly. And we're back here to say hello and to make some more salad for you all. Well, of course, we're gonna make some salad. But because Holly's birthday was this week, we are going to make her strawberry shortcake. She likes strawberries desserts, so we're gonna make the chimpanzees some strawberry shortcake dessert. But we did a little cheat. None of us have time to bake at the moment, so we did a little uh, Pillsbury dough boy kind of cheat. We got the pre-made biscuits, and we're gonna put them in our lovely oven. Da da da. All right, so we're gonna make our salad first while we're waiting for the biscuits to cook. We've already started by putting some spinach and romaine in here. We're gonna cut up some more spinach and romaine. Actually, the romaine has to be cut, but the spinach is already pre-done for us. Yay! So, we decided we'd mix it, just in case the chimps aren't so spinach forward. Maybe they'll think it's crazy, I don't know. You'll have to tell us. You already know. All right, so, romaine and moles, baby organic spinach. This was two containers of spinach. Two containers of spinach and only so far two heads of romaine lettuce. We are also going to make a dressing for that. We're gonna do a little bit of maple syrup and by a little bit I mean like, we'll see what that is. A dollop. A little bit of a dollop. 
We play like this. Mm -hmm. They ask for a recipe, but I'm like, mm. They get, they get treated like I did as a child. You have to watch and yeah. just watch. You'll figure it out. Cause you never know. We have to like play with this. we're gonna do pecans. Another favorite of Holly's. Birthday girls, pecans. Yay! We're gonna blend some strawberries together and see if we can make some sort of um, strawberry and sugar mix. Maybe some maple syrup or honey. <laughs> We've got the salad pretty much set and ready, and we even have some extra dressing for them, so they should be set as far as the salad goes. Now we just need to see how our biscuits are going and then make also whipped cream. And since we only brought a quarter cup and a cup today, <laughs> we'll just have to be doing a bunch. So Holly, if you wanna measure out um, at least, let's do about two cups of the heavy whipping cream. And mine's a quarter cup, so where I'm gonna do a half a cup of the confectioner sugar. Some people put, say, a cup of heavy whipping cream to a half a cup, but I can actually do my whipped cream a little less sugary. Try to cut that baby in half. Oh, she messes it up. It's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. No. <laughs> Ooh. I would say. I would say technically you should wait for it to cool before we do this. Yep. But it's all gonna melt. You know, we don't have a lot of filming time here, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and. Put some whipped cream in our And Holly, you want to put the strawberries on the way it does? <laughs> enjoyed the making here of Gym Dinner Live after Gym Dinner. <laughs> and again, thanks for coming to see us. And oh, yeah. and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.